Try and wins this thing. 17 for Bowman. Geller with 14 and 7 and 3 dimes. Connor Jones with 13. Bryce with a dozen. Try and wins it 92 63. Davion Price with 12. Paris Watkins with 11. Kendall Christians Cripsman has 8 for Adrian. Thunder win three straight over Adrian. They advance to the conference semifinals. And we're going to talk to head coach Brooks Miller here in just a moment as his team took care of business tonight. Well, coach, your team came out inspired. They played like uh, they had uh, a tournament game in front of them that they had to play their best basketball. And boy, did they deliver tonight. Yeah, I mean, we knew we were going to get their best shot. I, this is, uh, you know, there's a lot of seniors on that team. You know, Connor Pelham has been one of the best players in this league uh, for the last few years. And the last time we played these guys in a tournament, we were the ones that went home. Mm -hmm. uh, they're the last representatives we've had from the MIAA when Coach Lindsay was there who did an awesome job uh, taking them to the NCAA tournament. So um, it was a really big win for us. Anytime you get them and play the way that we did, um, it's exciting. We knew we had to get the ball inside. We took advantage of that. Uh, you know, it's hard to play a combination of the two big guys against a team like that, but I thought the three-headed monster, so to speak. It was unfortunate Emmanuel got in foul trouble early because he was just dominating the game from an energy standpoint. But Brent came in and put the ball in the basket for us in the first half, which helped a lot uh, when we got in foul trouble when Geller got his two. But, you know, credit to all of them. They, they found ways to get it in. They used their pass fakes. They used shot fakes. They did a lot of, they made a lot of winning plays. We talk about winning plays as, plays that you don't ever see on a stat sheet and your mom and dad don't have any clue what's going on that you're making them um <laughs> right. and they're always trying to figure right. out why is that guy playing well he shot fakes he can throw it to the post right. he can fake it he can skip it but you know there's little things that they all do that we had to do in order to win tonight and that we'll have to continue to do and get better at if we want to go win on the road on friday mitchell geller tonight 14 and 7 you talked about the big guys uh, geller was fantastic again tonight i love seeing him honored uh, getting that second team uh, all conference award as well. Yeah, he's really improved. Uh, yeah. You know, he's put the work in, you, you know, and a lot of these guys have, uh, you know, just really proud of where, what we've had to battle through here this year, um, like most teams. But, you know, you talked to me the other day before the game about the differences between this year and last year. Obviously, it's a different team. Sure. Uh, but, you know, we're probably a handful of free throws away from be having 22 wins right now instead of 18. So, but that's basketball. I think there's a lot of teams that could tell you that one way or another. It doesn't matter. We are where we are. We are where our feet at. And we are 18 and whatever. But the most important thing is we're back in the semifinals again for the 11th straight year. Mm. Uh, and the consistency of that, I'm, I'm extremely proud of, of the young men and the administration we've been able to work for. We got another opportunity. We're in the hunt. Uh, we're in the fight. We're in the mix. Uh, we got a great challenge ahead of us. We know that. We're accepting that, and we're embracing it like you wouldn't believe. So we're looking forward to getting on the road here, actually getting back uh, to work tomorrow uh, and uh, figuring out what we got to do to play our best game on Friday. Connor had 20 points, a career high in his last game today. He messes around 13 points, three rebounds. He's so active out there. I I've just been impressed with Connor Jones the last couple weeks. Yeah, you know, he's like a combination of a, a bull in the, you know, in Spain during the bull run. <laughs> And uh, well, I guess that's probably what he is. You know, he just he's just Connor. Uh, we right. talk a lot. He makes a lot of Connor plays with his effort and his strength. And it's just his determination to be productive. Uh, sometimes that goes against him a little bit. He gets a little over aggressive. But, you know, the one thing I think him and Nick have done a great job of in this stretch. I don't, I don't know what we've won, eight out of nine or uh, seven out of eight, whatever, whatever it is. They, our guards have done a good job offensive rebounding or go get it, guys. You know, we don't we don't uh, we try not to complicate it. You're either a go get it guy or a get back guy. And, you know, Nick and him are go-get-it guys, and they've done a really good job putting pressure on, uh, you, know, you know, getting us extra possessions when games we don't shoot it very well. So you go back to Calvin on Friday, uh, obviously the semifinals there. They beat us twice during the regular season. Um, can you, for our fans, give us a little preview? I know you got a long week of practice ahead of you, but a preview for Friday night with Calvin. Um, it's going to be a great game. Yeah. I, I think you got, you know, they got four fifth-year seniors over there, and we got uh, six seniors on our bench mm -hmm. over here, and they know what's at stake, it, all, all, all 11 of them. <laughs> um, and I think it's going to be a situation to where who can stick with their game plan the longest through adversity um, and when things are going good. I, I thought they did a better job of that here than we did. We let some missed free throws frustrate us. We let some missed shots around the rim frustrate us. Uh, but they give them credit for doing that the last time here. But they stuck with their game plan and the way they play a little bit longer than the way we play. And I think that'll be the key. Anytime you got two really good teams going at, at each other, I think that's the key. You know, who, whose identity is going to outlast the other one, especially when it comes down to the, the end.
You treated the fans here at home to a great effort tonight. Your guys played so hard. Congratulations. Good luck on Friday. Coach. Thank you for being here, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. you, man. Yep. Uh, we're going to bring Nick Bowman in. Nick Bowman, uh, come right around here if you would, Nick. And uh, we'll get you right back on the air here. We were doing a little, <laughs> we were doing a little reminiscing about you tonight. So I brought up your career stats. Freshman year, 2.9 a game, played 11 minutes a night. Sophomore year, 7.5 minutes a game, 2.3 points per game. Mm -hmm. You are seven points away from 1,000 points. <laughs> yeah. What an accomplishment. I, I, I think it's one of the most remarkable things I've seen in basketball. Nobody on the planet thought after your sophomore year that you'd be a 1,000-point scorer, and your hard work has paid off, hasn't it? Not yet. I mean, we got a really challenging team coming for up sure. on Calvin. Um, Calvin went for sure. Is that yeah, they did, okay. yeah. They're a really good team, and I mean, of those almost to a thousand points, it's my teammates have given me every single one of them. I yeah. mean, I have the breakaway dunks here and there; that those are the steals. But that's just from practice, learning how to defend stuff like that through my teammates and get teammates getting me open on the other stuff, the snapbacks, the threes, everything. Let me hear about the game plan on Connor Pelham tonight. He's one of the better players in the conference. He averages almost 17 points a game. You guys completely took him out of his rhythm. Yeah, he's a really great player. He had a great career. I don't know if he's for sure coming back for a fifth year or anything. I know he was a senior this year, but, I mean, he's really good at the backdoor cuts from the corner, and he's a really physical guy who can finish at the rim and go make really good basketball player plays. And we just had to do a big focus on making sure those backdoor cuts that where he gets going, like gets those layups in. Uh, we had to stop those as much as we can and just focusing as a team defense. We talked today during our walkthrough, and it's not I'm guarding you. It's not one-on-one -on -one guarding. It's mm -hmm. our team is guarding you. It's one-on-five at all times. And I think we did a really good job of that tonight. Your buddy Mitch Geller has just been playing well all season. He had another big game tonight. He's so calm on the post, mm -hmm. and he just really made them pay for over for over uh, committing a couple of times. Just talk about Mitch getting second team all conference and what he means to the team. Oh, I'm so happy for the kid. He's put it in so much work. I mean, it's just night and day, even from last year to this year and the beginning of this year to now, of how much like calmer and slower he's taking right. things in the post and how much under control he is and his balance because he used to fall a lot. I always talk to him, like he was falling a lot every time he tried to make a move, trying to get that foul. But now he realized, like, hey, you are stronger than pretty much every kid out here. Mm -hmm. Just go finish through them. If you want to get a pump fake in, that's fine. You can finish through them that way, or just jump over and go finish at the rim. And he's such a uh, physical, athletic guy, and he started playing like, it, and it's helped him tremendously. And I'm really proud of where he's come. Aren't you glad that Manny Magnaglo is on our team, and you don't have to play <laughs> against him? Oh, we play against him in practice, and it's <laughs> right. terrible. So I'm so glad that when those games matter, when it comes to the combat, he's on our side. He's wearing the same jersey I am. He's so active, and uh, he was a nightmare for, you know, I, I think these teams have to worry about you and Bryce and all the matchups, and then you got in the back of your mind, and then McNoglo's coming off the bench. I get a headache just thinking about it from a coaching standpoint. Let's talk about Calvin. Obviously, they got us twice this year. They're a talented team. You go to their place. Mm -hmm. uh, talking to uh, Coach Miller before the game, or, or, or after the game, just now, he's like, hey, we're in the fight. And yeah. he likes where you guys are going into that game. I love where we are. I love with these guys. I wouldn't want to be with another group of guys anywhere else in the world. And we know Calvin well. We know a lot of them are fifth-year guys besides Uchenna, who's a sophomore. But he's also Defensive Player of the Year this year. He's just a big, strong guy. And everyone else there, they're just they're big, strong men. And that's what it comes down to. They're physical guys. They can shoot. They can post up. They rebound really well. I mean, that's what Calvin's known for is out-rebounding people and stuff like that. And they get a three. So we know that we have to play our best defense that day, and it's it's a postseason now. So every sing, single play, every single game, it all matters. we got to come ready for it on 11th Friday. Eleventh straight year in the conference semifinals. It's incredible consistency. Nick Bowman, you've been a big part of that. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Good luck on Friday. Thank Go you. get him, brother. Nick Bowman going to work uh, to try to get another MIAA championship for the tournament. And uh, we're going to wrap this up with Drew here. Uh, Drew, any final thoughts here as we wrap it up tonight? Thunder take care of business, obviously uh, getting it done here at home. And now going on the road to play a very talented Calvin team. Oh, man, this trying team, they're going to be coming off a hot game. So all you Calvin fans better watch out. 52% from the field, 38% from three. Got to work on the free throws, but you got a few days to do that. And also, Mitchell Geller, 14 points, only 15 minutes. He has been outstanding this year. So it's going to be trying at Calvin on Friday night in the semifinals. On the other side, it looks like Hope versus Albion. And uh, the winner of those two games will meet on Saturday. If Hope would lose and we would win, we'd be back here uh, on Saturday for the men's game. 
In any case, we'll have a women's game tomorrow night, the Trine Thunder against Kalamazoo, 7 o'clock right here on the Trine Network. Drew, we'll see you in about 23 hours, okay? Absolutely. Great job tonight, as always. Thanks to Coach, and uh, certainly thanks to Nick Bowman for joining us in the post game. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you tomorrow night with the Trine women's quarterfinal game on the Trine Broadcasting Network.